So I kind of want to get into this. This is a pretty short and sweet chapter. So what's up guys? Chapter 200 finally, finally of JJK. Finally made it to the big 200. Feels good. Now, cursed energy as a renewable source for the world, right? Instead of petroleum oil, instead of solar wind we have the cleanest form of energy that will constantly cycle out which is these negative emotions and these negative emotions can be harnessed by jujutsu sorcerers and also those negative emotions create um uh, curse these cursed beings right how kenjaku explains right um so it's really interesting where this is going because it kind of leads us to believe that at the end of November, like Kenjaku said, there's going to be this ritual. And my guess as to what's going to happen is whoever survives are going to be those subjects. Now, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Kenjaku is going to let any outside forces, um, take like Sukuna or his people I think what's going to happen is they might take the students and maybe someone like even Satoru Gojo and use them as like a trade um for like I don't know America Africa all these different continents and countries right and say here here's the here's the deal we will give you hand-picked jujutsu sorcerers to research on to power um basically be used as these powerful energy sources for your country as long as you leave japan alone because kenjaku is trying to bring back this heon era of just great jujutsu sorcerers right so i think japan is going to i think he's going to bargain for japan to just be its own little place for this renewable energy to be um to grow and prosper and then in a sense and this is sounding weird overall but in a sense sell that to other countries right um but in order to do that japan has to go back to its og heon era which is jujutsu uh jujutsu sorcerers fighting it out um um using different types of curse techniques to get stronger battling out with um cursed spirits right so i think what's happening here is he's going to create his own ecosystem and then the results of that ecosystem he will kind of like i said sell off to different countries on the fact that this is a renewable energy source that's so pure it recycles there's no really side effect in a sense um so i'm actually really curious as to what you guys think about that little theory of mine in the comments um and the rest of this chapter, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, Megumi was able to figure out that the fallen one is actually Sukuna. Uh, Yuji is in his head is thinking, look, Sukuna, you don't think I'm willing to die. But after all this is done with, I will gladly die, you know, just to stop anything from happening. Right. Um, and obviously, Megumi is not going to let that happen. So. You know, we just have to see where that goes. But we do get to see before we get this whole um, Shark Tank meeting <laughs> of him trying to pitch these renewable sources. We do get to see uh, that it looks like 800 people were just sent in the colony, which is crazy. So, I don't know. This is very, very interesting. Um, and that's really my theory for this. I... Yeah, I, I just, I can't wait to see where it goes. But that's what I'm thinking. It's gotta, because he wants to bring back the Heian era. But why would he, why would he make, like, his own, like, Kenjaku's own subjects a part of that, right? So, I think he's gonna utilize other people. Um, so, yeah, man, just uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. This was another great chapter. Um, let me know what you think of my theory, too, and I'm curious to hear yours. So, yeah, let me know.